An anonymous tip eventually led to the firing of a Kamehameha school's teacher. Gabrielle Elisna is accused of videotaping students while in the shower. We were the first to tell you last night that the school will pay $5 million in a settlement with the families. Today, we asked the school what it's done to prevent similar incidents from happening. Manolo Morales follows up with more. Manolo. Marissa, the alleged incidents occurred when the students were staying overnight at Alisna's home. Kamehameha Schools tells me it will still allow overnight stays with teachers or staff, but under what it calls stricter conditions. The school got an anonymous tip on March 2, 2013, that Alisna had videotapes of students. The school investigator questioned Alisna about them five days later, and he denied the allegations. A grand jury indicted him in December of that year for sex assault and violation of privacy. A listener later pled not guilty and is scheduled to go on trial in October. During that interview with the investigator, when asked about the allegation, he answered, I don't know how, it's a Kamehameha school's house. He was asked again if he had any video equipment at the home, and he said, no, I don't have any equipment. He was asked if there is a camera in the shower, and he said there is nothing to this allegation. The school tells us that additional training has been implemented to try and prevent any more incidents. A training video has been put together that has been distributed to staff and faculty, as well as parents, that's designed to help them spot questionable behavior. So it really just kind of gives you an opportunity to understand yourself as well as others and to identify these behaviors that are kind of outside the norm. But as far as allowing students to stay overnight at teachers' homes, Ahana tells me it is still allowed with parents' permission but there has to be at least one other adult there or another student. If it's a couple of students, is that a safety measure that's... You know, so I think the, you know, the, like I said, the, the policy and the procedures that we're working through is um, part of our job right now is to understand it and strengthen it. And we're not sure where that's going to take us, but we know that it's definitely better than what we had. Now, Ahana points out that there are situations when the overnight stays are necessary if there's a school-sanctioned trip to the neighbor island or the mainland. Marissa, over to you.